One of the first times I became aware of the Sir Badger line of amps was watching Guthrie Govan play an incredible show with the Aristocrats live. And I must say, I was really intrigued by that amp, in some ways blown away by just how amazing it sounds. Now, watching Guthrie play through pretty much any rig is going to be an incredible thing. It's going to sound amazing. But I was always very interested in checking out that Badger lineup of amps. And many years went by, I never really had the opportunity to ever sit down with one. Well, I've acquired one that's sitting right here to my left. And I had it in my collection for maybe a month now and really just didn't have the chance to sit down and plug it in. And I kept looking at it and, and wanting to get to it. Well, I finally had the chance to put some time in with it after familiarizing myself with the amp and its behaviors and how the controls are working on it and interacting with one another, I set out to create a killer set of Tonex tone models. So as of today, I have available my Sir Badge 18 Ultimate Tone Model Bundle. Now I do have a link below to a free tone model, a sample tone model from the full pack. It'll be available to link below either to ToneNet, where you can grab it and try it out, or at my website where you can also download that for free. I'll also have a link below to the full-blown Sir Badge 18 Ultimate Tone Model Bundle. If you're so inclined and would like to try out the whole bundle, it is a really incredible sounding amp and the tone models turned out really, really well. Today, I'm gonna take you through them individually out of the mix, let you hear them with some humbuckers and some single coil pickups. And then later, I'm also gonna play you a demo video of a song from my 2012 album, Broken. This song is called Useful Idiots. I recorded this originally with Kenny Aronoff on drums and my friend Martin Motnick on bass, but Last year, maybe two years ago, I redid this and had my good friends Marco Miniman and Jason Henry redo the rhythm tracks and I retracked all the guitars. So I used those new tracks to reamp through the Sir Badge 18 set of tone models. And I must say they worked really nice in the mix. Anytime I do these, I never tweak anything after the fact. I always just use maybe a little bit of compression and reverb from the tone X itself. So, you know, you can dial it in yourself, but you also get those same settings with the presets when you get the tone models. So you'll get to hear what those sound like when layered together in a mix. And also on my website, the demo video will have some of the tracks from that mix soloed out of the mix as well. So you'll get to hear me play them out of the mix today. You can hear them in a mix and then you can hear those mix tracks out of the mix. So you can really know what these sound like before you think about grabbing them. Also included with this tone model bundle are the DI captures, the direct captures, also known as amp only captures. And I've included a custom IR that I shot with one of my 212 vintage 30 cabs. It paired up quite nicely. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with this bundle. You get the amp cab captures, which which I captured with a Celestion G12M65 creamback speaker. And then you also get the DI'd tone models, which you can swap cabs and IRs, whatever you want to do with it, play it through a real live guitar amp, or you can utilize it with the included vintage 30 based impulse response. So without further ado, let's head over to Cubase. We're going to be showing these tone models today utilizing the Tonex plugin. All right, so here we have the little naming convention I normally use. I have my initials JS and then Sir Badge 18. You'll notice here I have DI and then I have clean push one, push two, OD one, OD two, and OD three. So just the different levels of gain. I always use push to describe sort of that edge of breakup and moving into an overdriven tone. And then I have the amp cab capture, same sort of thing here. They don't have the DI in the name. They just have Sir Badge 18 alt clean push one, push two, OD one, OD two, OD three. I am playing my Gibson Les Paul standard 60s today. And on the clean, on the bridge pickup, it sounds like this. Moving to the neck pickup. So just a nice, clean tone, works really nice on bridge or neck pickup. Let's move to push one. So this is where I've pushed the amp to a new level, just starting to get to the edge of breakup, back on the bridge pickup. Neck pickup. 
Africa. Moving on to push two. So more into the overdrive side of things. Not really overdriven, but just more, again, closer to that edge of breakup and into overdrive. Neck pick up. Moving into OD1, the first level of overdrive. Neck pick up. Next level of overdrive, OD2. Pick up. It's a beautiful sounding amp. And OD3, so this is kind of a really pushed overdrive sound with the MOSFET boost that's built into the amp engaged. a quick rundown of how the di sounds go. I'll go through these a little bit quicker. Like I said, we're pairing these up now with a completely custom IR of my Rev 212 cabinet loaded with vintage 30s. Let's take a listen to this with some single coil pickups. Going back to the amp cab captures now, I'm playing my Vigier Expert Series Strat. <laughs> Moving on 
into push one. to push two. to the overdrive side of things back in the bridge pickup. Overdrive two. Finally, overdrive three. So there you have a really good overview of the tones from the Sir Badge 18 Ultimate Tone Model Bundle. Like I said, I have a link below to the free sample download of the Tone Model, both from my website or from ToneNet, whichever way you prefer. You can grab that Tone Model and try it out for yourself. If you're so inclined, you want to grab the full bundle, I also have the link below to my web shop where you can grab that. But for now, after letting you hear the humbucker and single coil tones out of the mix, I want to let you hear what it sounds like using these tones in different ways with no other processing. I did add just maybe a dab of delay to the lead guitar, but other than that, everything is just utilizing the reverb and compression, not even any EQ tweaks to the tone models, just as they were captioned as you heard them today. So this is my song, Useful Idiots, from my album, Broken, that's been redone with, as I mentioned, my good friends Marco Miniman and Jason Henry as the rhythm section. I hope you enjoy.
what, what do you guys think? I thought those tones worked really nice in the mix. I was really happy with them. They just kind of sat really well. And I was very happy with the outcome. So again, I have the links below to both the free and the full tone models if you are so inclined and want to try them out if you enjoyed what you heard today. Thank you guys so much for sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Some really big news coming up very soon on some stuff that I've been working on that I can't really talk about right now, but really excited to share that with you guys very, very soon. Thanks again for tuning in. Please like the video, share it with anybody who think we get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. And also please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.